Hello everyone and welcome to my Ultimate Pearl Pearl Guide. In this video I'll be focusing on covering everything that there is to know about Pearl Pearl, starting from level requirements all the way to how to maximize the profit per hour. Now if at any time you guys would like to skip to a certain part of the video then simply go back to the intro and check the time frame that you guys will need to skip to that part. And other than that, let's begin. And here is the list which shows the appropriate level that you guys will need to catch a certain kind of an implant. So since the baby impling doesn't really have any unique rewards, we're going to start off right away with the young impling. Now these are going to be the three unique items that you guys can get from looting a young impling. Now a couple items that are worth mentioning is going to be the meat pizza and that can be a pretty good food source for lower levels that don't have the fishing level to get the, some good food. Now the chances of getting the meat pizza is going to be uncommon so it's actually a pretty good way to get some food from these guys is to get some meat pizzas. Now the U longbow can be very helpful for those people especially for Iron Man or Ultimate Iron Man that don't have the level to get themselves a U bow or a magic bow for the Temple of Ivkov quest, but beware that the chances of getting the U longbow is very rare. So the Gormier Impling is another Impling that has some interesting unique rewards and those rewards are listed on the screen and that's the five different kind of noted fish that you guys can get from it and as you can see there's some high level fish that you guys can get it so this is especially useful for Ultimate's Iron Man account that can bang so you guys can get yourself a bunch of food from these Implings and then you can use them to train but this is also really useful for main accounts in Iron Man as well so this uh, Impling is actually quite good to get yourself a bunch of good high level food. So the next impling that has some decent unique rewards is going to be the earth impling and the reason why you guys should ever catch the earth implings is simply to get yourself some quick talismans now this impling has a very high chance of giving you the earth talisman the earth tiara as well as the fire talisman and it also has a pretty decent chance to give you a mithril pickaxe as well so if you guys need those talismans to runecraft then make sure to catch some earth implings because you guys will get those talismans really quickly so the Essence Impling is one of the few Implings that you actually get yourself some high level runes. Now the chances of getting the high level runes is going to be rare, so don't expect them to get them that often. Now the runes that you should actually expect to get pretty often is going to be the Cosmic Runes, as well as some Chaos Runes as well. Now one of the most uh, interesting rewards that you can get from this Impling is going to be the Noted Pure Essence, and you can get 20 pure Noted Pure Essence each time you actually get the Noted Essence. Now this is especially useful if you're an Ultimate Iron Man account. So the Lecture Kimpling is an Impling that has a ton of different unique rewards that you guys can get from it. The only problem is that the majority of the rewards that you guys see on the screen are actually pretty hard to get. The only rewards that you guys should expect to get pretty common is going to be the Mithril Pickaxe, the Noted Oak Blinks which actually come quite in handy if you're an Ultimate Iron Man account. You can save those up and raise your construction a bit with those. As well as some Gold Bars, some Noted Pure Essence and some other rewards that are left out is going to be the Diamonds because it's very hard to get that and a Wild Pie as well which you guys can use to boost your Slayer level. Now the Nature Impling is an Impling that has a ton of unique rewards and it's mostly hunted for its seeds rewards. Now a lot of the seeds are actually pretty easy to get from this Impling but some of the high level seeds are actually pretty hard to get so don't expect to get the high level seeds that often. Now one of the most common rewards that you can get from this Impling is going to be the Magic Logs which are really nice to get especially if you don't have the woodcutting level to be able to woodcut them and this comes really handy for Iron Man and Ultimate Iron Man accounts for those that can't buy the logs from other players. So if you guys are doing Desert Treasure Quest then make sure to come to Pura Pura and get yourself a bunch of nature implings and get yourself the logs that you need for the desert treasure quest. Now another reward that you get pretty often is going to be the noted Teroman herbs which are you can get four of them at a time if you get those herbs and if you stack them up you can actually get yourself a nice amount of herbal XP. And another reward that you actually get from it which is pretty often is going to be the Avento seeds which you can use for farming as well. So the next impling is going to be the magpie impling and this impling has a ton of unique rewards. Now the majority of the rewards that you get from this impling is going to be worth a decent amount. Now some of the rewards that I left out from this is going to be the split bar gauntlets, the mystic boots, the mystic gloves and the nature tiaras. Now the rewards that you guys see on the screen are usually pretty common to get so the majority of these rewards are all noted as well which is actually really useful so you don't have to bank as much and you can pretty much stay at purple for a longer period of time. So the next high level impling is going to be the ninja impling and the ninja impling is packed with a lot of unique rewards. The only rewards that are left out is going to be the split bark helm, the split bark gauntlets, the blue mystic gloves, the rune claws as well as some onyx bolts. Now the majority of the items that are left out are the items that I don't find to be unique and they're not really worth that much except the onyx bolts but those are pretty rare to get. Now other than that the majority of the items that you see on the list over here are pretty common so expect to get them pretty often and catching ninja implings is a great way to you make yourself a ton of money. 
Now, the last and final impling is going to be the dragon impling, and the dragon impling is by far the most rewarding impling that you guys can get your hands on. So, if you guys do manage to get your hands on one dragon impling, you guys can make anywhere from 60k all the way till 950k. But don't expect to make that much money from one dragon impling because the chances of you actually making that much money are very low. So, you guys should expect anywhere from 100k till 200k on average per dragon impling. Now, this is going to be the first list of the items that you guys can get from the dragon impling. And this is going to be the second list of the rewards that you guys can get from the Dragon Impling. Now, to have access to Pro Pro, you guys don't have to complete the Lost City quest. All you guys have to do is find a active crop circle which can be located at any of the wheat fields. Now, the best one that I found to use is going to be the one that's located south of Varok, the one that I'm going towards right now. Once you guys are there, just simply go inside and if the crop circle is not going to be there, just keep on quick hopping to if you guys have O's Buddy that comes really in handy. And there we go, I found one after a few hops. Once you guys found it to just go inside and you guys are going to be at Pearl Pearl. Now, to have quick access to Pearl Pearl, you guys will have to complete the Lost City quest. Once you guys complete that quest, you guys can have access to Xanaris, which is the home place of the main crop circle. Now, getting there is really easy. Just do what I'm doing right now and have your Jainer staff equipped and, and basically go inside the shack over here and you guys will be at Xanaris. Then run west and there's going to be the main crop circle here. Or another alternative is start the Fairy Tales Part 2 quest and use the Fairy Rings to get here as well. Once you guys are here, there's going to be the main crop circle here and the, the bank is going to be to the west. Insert the crop circle and you guys you're going to be at Pearl Pearl. Pearl, 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 there's a couple important things that we need to do. The first thing is, if this is your first time, talk to this guy over here and ask him for some spare equipment. This is going to be the third option. And he's going to give you a bunch of impling jars as well as a butterfly net. Now, the second thing that we're going to focus on is going to be getting these two items over here. The first one is going to be the magic butterfly net. Now, to get that net, you guys must catch three gourmet implings, two earth implings, and one essence implings. And then pretty much click on this option and, and exchange it for a magical butterfly net. Now, the magical butterfly net greatly increases the chances of catching all the implings and it's a must in this place now the second thing that we need to get is going to be the jar generator over here which we need three essence two electric and one nature implink to get now what this does is it basically gives you the option to basically generate butterfly jars and implink jars now, the reason why getting the jar generator is really important is simply because so we don't have to always constantly swap our implings for the jars over here. So there's an option over here for you guys. If you guys are running out of implink jars and you guys don't have a jar generator, then simply just catch a random implink, doesn't matter which one, click on this option and just exchange it for three implink jars. Now, so we don't have to do this all the times and exchange it. What we have to do is, like I said, get a jar generator. Now, when we get the jar generator, it's going to, of course, have 100 charges. Now, the way that the charges work is simply if you generate a butterfly jar over here, it's going to decrease it by 1. If you guys generate the implant jar, it's going to decrease it by 3. So you guys can basically get about 33 implant jars before this runs out. So be very careful to not run out of implant jars so you guys can recharge this thing. Because if you guys want to recharge it, you guys will have to get the same implants as I mentioned before to recharge it. And keep in mind that when you guys loot the implants from the implant jars, the, sh the jar has a chance of shattering. So be careful to not run out of implant jars. Now, the big question is, how much can I make in this place per hour? Now, this will vary depending on which account you have as well as which implings you can catch. Now, if you play on the main accounts that can only catch Magpie implings, the amount of money you should expect per hour is anywhere from 50 to 100 to 150k per hour. Now, if you're an Iron Man account or an Ultimate Iron Man account and you can catch all the way up to Magpie implings, you should expect anywhere from 50 to 100k per hour. Now, if you're a main account that can catch all the way up to Ninja Implinks, the amount of money you should expect per hour is going to be anywhere from 100k to 250k per hour. If you're an Iron Man account or an Ultimate Iron Man account and you can catch all the way up to Ninja Implinks, you guys should expect anywhere from 75k to 150k per hour. Now, if you're a main account that can catch all the way up to Dragon Implinks, the amount of money that you guys should expect is going to be anywhere from 200k to 500k per hour. If you're an Iron Man account or an Ultimate Iron Man account, the amount of money that you should expect to get is anywhere from 100k to 250k per hour. So the way that people usually do the Pro Pro minigame is they usually take a full circle around. If they don't find any good implings, they basically hop to a new world. Now, the way that I found out which maximizes this per hour is instead of walking around, so what we're going to do is we're basically going to switch worlds at the corners. Now, the corners that we're going to use is going to be the northwest corner as well as the southeast corner. So if you see someone at one of the corners uh, logging in, logging out, then make sure you switch to the other corner. And in reality, this is actually going to be really good to the fact that don't try to 
to compete against the other person that's going to be in the same corner as you, switch to the different corner. Because if you do that, that way you guys will spawn implings in different corners for each other and it's going to benefit you guys more than if you guys will be basically competing in one corner. Now remember, if you guys are, when you guys are going to stand in the corner, what we're going to do is we're going to stand behind the fourth weeds over here. So don't stand like anywhere all the way there or anywhere closer to there. We're going to stand at this spot over here. So behind the fourth weeds over here. And if you guys are in the southeast corner, the same thing behind the fourth one. This is going to be the best spot that you guys can use to do this. Now, the second tip that I have for you guys, which is going to be very important, that will help you increase the amount of profit you make per hour and make per pro just a ton easier. So what we're going to do is don't just try to catch the implants without entangling them or binding them or snaring them first. Make sure you have the spell in this place because without it it's just going to be very very annoying to do this place so what I highly recommend is to get at least level 50 mage and use snare or if you guys have enough uh, magic level for entangled it's just going to make it so much easier I wouldn't really recommend it to use bind because it only holds it for five seconds and if you bind something you go through the weeds usually by the time you start catching it already flies away so make sure you have these spells and make sure you do proper with these spells because it just makes it a ton easier now the third and one of the most important tips that I have for you guys to to maximize this per hour is going to have a OS buddy clients. Now for those people that still think it's not safe to use or Jags don't approve it, it's complete bogus. Jags already approved it a long time ago and it's safe to use so don't worry about it and download the clients because the clients it's amazing and for those people that still haven't tried it you guys have to try it because it just makes old school much more funner. So there we're going back and as you guys can see there's a ton of implants over here that have names with them and this makes Pearl Pearl so much easier as well as the mini map shows all of the implants that are around the area. And split. doing Pearl Pearl with this pretty much just makes Pearl Pearl so much more enjoyable and so much more easier because you don't have to right click every single implant which just makes this place fairly really boring. So as you guys can see now all of the implants are gone due to the fact that I disabled all of the lower level implants and on the minimap I can only see magpies, ninjas and dragons which makes this even more easier. So as you can see there's a ninja implant right over here which is going to show so this I can only pretty much see all of the higher level implants which just makes this much more easier like I said. And so once you guys catch the implant all you have to do after that is pretty much just hop worlds and after you hop worlds you don't even need to log in. Pretty much you can stay in this, I guess you can say lobby screen and you can pretty much just keep hopping worlds like this due to the point that you can actually see the implants around the map over here. Now make sure that you enable it so that you can see it on the map and on the login screen and just keep hopping worlds until a point that you can actually find the implant. Now in the beginning when I started doing this for me it seems like when I hopped a lot of worlds I didn't find anything and it seems like this is much slower per hour but in reality it's actually much faster and what I love about this is due to the fact that this is even AFK. So you can pretty much watch a movie and just quick, quick hop the worlds until you actually find the implant, just catch it and keep on repeating the process. So the fourth and last tip that I have for you guys is going to be to loot all of the implants. Usually the majority of the times you get much more money than you were to sell the implant jars. Especially make sure that you loot magpies and ninjas. If you don't feel like looting the dragon implants then you don't have to because sometimes you actually might lose a lot of money on looting the dragon implants but sometimes you can actually make a lot of money as well. So looting dragon implants is kind of like 50-50 but make sure that you always loot the magpie implants as well as ninjas and make sure that you add the items that you get. So the majority of the items that you get from these implants are going to be items that you can easily elk if you're an Iron Man account or an Ultimate Iron Man account. If you're a main account, make sure that you loot the items and you can, if you want, store them. Because the cool thing about these items as well is that a lot of them are noted and you can stack them in your inventory. But the items that cost about the same amount as you would to be able to elk them, make sure you just elk them instead so you don't have to go to the bank that often. And there we go, there's my Pearl Pearl guide. So I hope this guide is going to be helpful for you guys. I hope it's going to answer all the questions that you guys have about Pearl Pearl. And other than that, thanks a lot for watching.